Residents in Hampton told Tin on your side it was only a matter of time for some, before someone is hurt at the intersection of Shell Road and Greenbrier Avenue. Well, it almost happened again this morning when a car crashed into a home. This is the aftermath, residents say, of what happened when a car traveling around twice the legal limit crashed into a home built in the 1930s. I saw a vehicle coming up, Greenbrier, probably about 50 miles per hour. For, I don't know how he did it, but he went directly through my car, this pole, and smashed his car. Fred Henry's father built the home. They brought in new stop signs, and as we saw yesterday, people are just blowing right through the intersection. Yes. What do you think will make a difference? I, I, I don't have the, the total answer. Somebody said speed bumps. So we decided to check out speed bumps in another part of town that also has historic homes, but with a view of the bay. Now here on Chesapeake Avenue, there is a speed hump at just about every block. This is the view of Sunny Chambers' home. Regina, uh, I've lived here for about 20 years now, and I've actually saw accidents in all three properties. Charlene Thompson, who first alerted 10 on your side, is calling on drivers to do the right thing. And we're asking you all, obey the speed. Stop at the stop signs. We don't need any accidents here any longer and we definitely don't want any type of fatalities whatsoever so I'm asking you all when you come in Hampton and you come down Shell Road in Greenbrier just obey the speed laws and the stop signs. In this case his name is 68 year old Gerald Vincent Stearns who police say is responsible for today's crash. He is charged with reckless driving by failing to control his vehicle. He has a similar case from May of this year. In recent days, police have ticketed more than two dozen drivers around Shell and Greenbrier. Stiffer penalties and a comprehensive study are under consideration.